module used with images works with the slideshow as well. You can overlay text with or without a background. Here I've added a fourth slide. The overlay text goes in a div inside the list item for that slide. The div gets the classes UK Overlay Panel, UK Overlay Background, and I'm having it fade in as the slide appears, so I'm using a UK Overlay Fade. I'm just displaying a heading, H3 heading, and a paragraph text. Both of those are getting the class UK Text Center to center the text horizontally. On the UL item for the list, you want to add the class UK Overlay Active. I created a couple CSS rules to style that overlay text. You can see those here. The unordered list with a class of UK Overlay Active. An H3 element gets a size of 30 pixels in a color of white and the paragraph text a little smaller and also white. Every time you add a slide, you want to make sure that you add a dot nav item for that slide. So we have four slides. The third with a zero base is, is the dot four in the fourth item. Now if we go to slide four, there you see that text fading in as the slide appears. I also changed the effect on the slideshow itself. That's a scale. So I set that here, the animation to scale. Now I've added a fifth image and this will have an overlay with a colored background and it will slide in from the left. Set up the same way, the image here in the list item, and within that list item I have the div that contains the overlay content. Same classes up to here, it's going to take a UK overlay left, so we'll show on the left side of the image. It's going to slide in from the left, the animation. And this is the key to using those left and right you have to tell it how much of that section that you want the overlay to cover. So it's covering one fourth of the slide. Added the dot nav item at the bottom there. And I've reset the slideshow animation to fold. There's the fold effect. And let's take a look at the last slide. There we see the slide in from the left with the overlay text. You're not limited to just showing images in the slideshow. You can also display HTML content in a slide or even a video. I've added two more slides here. In this example, I'm displaying some HTML content. I'm using the panel, panel box to give a background style and you can add a grid and columns to lay out the content. I have an image that I'm floating to the left and then a heading and paragraph of text. I've created a class here of dark text because I set the text to white for the other styles. And I've added the two dot navs down here for the two new slides. This last item shows how to add a video. You would just go to the video on YouTube, the share option, and search for the embed code, and copy that iframe code, and paste that into the list item. I've set this to the width and height of my slides, which happens to be 1200 by 528. So the next to the last item had our HTML content. There we see an image floated to the left of the text. And the last item was the video. If you want the slideshow to be the full width of the browser, 
You'll just need to remove the container, the row, and the column classes. Now I see the slideshow going the full width.